Welcome to today's analysis on EURUSD currency pair. This overview will shed some light what happened on the market this week and what could happen next week. If you like the analysis, click the like button and subscribe. Let's go! If we check what was mentioned in the previous week analysis, there were a few things that was mentioned. The first one, the price could reach the support level at 1.09860. The second thing was there could be a bullish price action signal around that level. And the third, the price is currently between two levels, there where the price could be squeezed out, on the upper side or on the downside. Let's check what has happened since Monday. I have also mentioned previous week that we need to wait until the Monday close, so we will see where the market could move. On Monday, we can see here the price has opened at this price and closed the day on this price. So we have a bearish candle that suggested on Monday that the rest of the week we could see the price moving down. And why is that? And that is why, because the candle on a Monday is currently between these two levels. On the upper side, 1.10755 as a resistance level and on the downside, 1.09860 as a support level. Here the price doesn't have any support or resistance levels on a daily time frame, so the only way the price has to move or upside or the downside. Because the candle is a bearish candle, the price has closed down, logical way for the price is to move to the support level. And what we can see here, on Tuesday we have a bullish pin bar that has formed right on the support level 1.09860. And what we can see here, the body has still stayed inside on the short uptrend channel. So this was a good sign that price could move up, because the bullish pin bar right on the support level and inside short uptrend channel suggests the price could move up. So, if you have entered into the trade, that was a good idea, with the stop loss below here, which, was, which is also a demand level for the price, which is hard to reach if you have a bullish signal. And also here, the body of a Tuesday candle of this pin bar is still inside the previous day candle, which was also a good sign. So, what we can make conclusion here, the price has hard time to move down, and it was moved down, but it was pushed immediately from the bullish pressure to the upside. So this bullish pressure could move the price higher. But what has happened on the next day, on a Wednesday, is a bearish candle. The bearish candle with the body that has closed below previous two candles, which suggests that this support here has been broken. And what can happen next is only to move down again here to the support level, which will help the price. So, this also a week on the downside suggested that there is a still bullish pressure pushing the price higher, but on a Thursday, the price again closed the day below this previous day low candle. So, previous day body candle. So, this means the price is really have hard time to move up, what we can see here also on the upper side. There are no large wicks, which means this selling pressure from here is still much stronger than the bullish pressure from here. Why? Because there is no wicks on the upside, but there are wicks on the downside. Because of these wicks on the downside and there is no wicks on the upside, we have small bodies of the candle, so this means there is a much higher pressure from the sellers than from the bulls, than from the bulls, because the bulls have some kind of strength, but each day the price is moving down and down. On a Friday, there was a small market fluctuation, which means when the price has reached the support level at 1.09860, bulls have pushed the price up. Making a, high, making a large week on the upside, but there is no week on the downside, which means here at this level the bulls are much stronger than sellers and the price has stopped right here. And there is no 
weak on the downside, which means the sellers could not push the price down, which bulls would return back up. But there is also one thing to remember here. We have a bearish candle, the bearish candle with a small body, which the day has closed below previous candles close, and it is right on the support level. Which means, if the day was a little bit longer, maybe we could see here the price even lower, which means the sellers are much stronger than the bulls, and the bulls are losing the battle. And so this market overview, what we can see here on the chart, suggests the price could move down. Why? Because the sellers were pushing the price through the whole week, and on a Friday there is a large week where there was a short, short impulse from the bulls, but you also need to remember that on the Friday many traders that were selling this pair locked the profit, which means the price moved up. This could be this short impulse of the week on, uh, as the week on the upper side would mean a short impulse because of the traders getting out on the Friday at the end of the week because they do not want to stay inside the trade over the weekend because there is always something that can happen and they could lose all the profits if the price opens higher with a gap. So, on a Monday, which we should also wait as this week, we need a candle to form what will happen to form and, the, and at the end of the day, on a Tuesday, we could see where the price could move the rest of the week. What we can see here is also this. The price has broke down outside from this short uptrend channel. What we can see here is also this, that we have here lows that are rising a little bit up, but also we have highs that are going down. So we have here some kind of a triangle that could be broken. We have a short impulse from this a triangle that, going, that is going up but the price could not make a confirmation of the breakout but return back down, which means this could be a false breakout on the upper side. So this means the price could move down. But for the next week it would be much smarter to wait until the price break below this level, which means the price will target 1.08846 as the next support level. If the, if the price breaks above here, above 1.1050, which is high, higher than these previous highs, will mean the price, also the bulls, are much stronger than the sellers, which was much stronger previous week, and they will have strength to move the price higher from these levels. This will, this will also mean that price will need to break above 1.10755 and also this level 1.10917 is a resistance level that was all the price from the previous moves to target higher levels. We also have here, what you can see here, is a downtrend channel line, which is currently a resistance level. We also have here now a downtrend channel, which is also resistance for the price. So we have also here a horizontal resistance level, which is also making a pressure on the price. So we have three, three levels of a resistance, which means a supply pressure for the price, where on the downside we have only this horizontal support level. So we have on the upper side three levels and on the downside one level that is holding the price. So if we make the math and calculate what is uh, much stronger, we can say that the resistance on the upper side as a supply zone is much stronger. But the markets can react in every way because of the news signals and something what happens in the world regarding any of the currency of Europe or United States, we need to wait what will happen. The market will show us what will happen as it has shown this week with this bearish candle. On the downside, we could see a price reaching this level which is 1.09000, which is a start of this demand zone area. On the upper side, as I have said, 1.10755 is the first resistance that the price needs to break up. So currently, there is only 
one thing I would do and that is wait until the price makes a move. Previous week uh, I have said the price could be squeezed out and what we can see here the price is currently squeezing between these two levels. Where it will break we need to wait. But currently as we can see here the selling pressure is much stronger than the bullish pressure here. That is all from today's analysis. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment. If you like the analysis, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and a happy trading.